Alright guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be solving question 68 from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook and we have the force F that is applied at the end of the arm ACD, which is mounted to a vertical post. We need to replace this single force F by an equivalent force couple system at B. And in the second part, we need to redistribute these force and couple by replacing it with two forces acting in the same direction as F. So we have two different forces and F at C and D and in the same direction, meaning it is going to make the angle theta with the vertical at C and D. And we need to determine the forces supported by the two hex bolts at C and D. And we have some values for the F theta, B, D, H and L, which are some dimensions in the question. So so first of all, we have to find the equivalent force couple system from the definition. We need a force and we need a couple. Let's find our force and let's just express the force in x and y direction. We have our x and y in here. So this will be the x and y component. Our f will be f sine of theta and the y component will be f cosine of theta so if you want to express our f in vector format we have our f sine of theta negative since it's to the left the r i and same for the j component it will be downward so negative f cosine of theta and that would be our j we have all the values in here which we can put it in here so our f would be we know it's 425 minus 425 sine of 30 degrees minus 425 cosine of 30 degrees and here we can find our f so this would be our f in a vector format there is another way to show the force f which will be the magnitude and also the angles that it makes with the horizontal we can show it show it in two ways one in here which will be basically 90 minus 30 in here with 60 degrees or we can show it like in this direction 120 degrees uh, both work and here we have to have the unit so that's our force and for finding the moment we're gonna find the moment using the 2d shortcut that we have and we talked about over and over in our channel and previous videos so what we're gonna do we have the moment of x component of f and y component of f so as we can see the x component about point b is gonna make a moment in this direction so counterclockwise positive so basically we have f sine of theta times the vertical distance which would be this distance and that would be l minus h since we have from here to here l and here to here h so the difference of l and h is going to give us the different distance that we are looking for and we have also the moment of f cosine of theta this one is also counterclockwise about b so again positive and the distance for that one would be what we have from here to here which from the question we know it's what we have as b everything is known in here we have f we have sine we have theta we have l h and b all from the last part of the question and if we calculate the moment in here we're gonna find the moment is equal to 113.7 newton meter and as we talked about is counterclockwise so that was the first part of the question where we needed to find the force couple system this will be our force and this will be our moment so in the second part, we have two different forces that are applying at C and D. I'm just going to clean up the figure. So we have two forces that are applying at C and D. So these two forces has to make the same couple and they have to be along in the same direction, meaning they're going to make same angle theta with vertical line. And now the question is, what would be the direction of these two in order to make that counterclockwise moment? So first of all, we have to have this one applying in this direction and the other one in this direction that way we can call this one fc and the other one fd and obviously our fc has to be more than our fd in order to make that couple of counterclockwise or the moment of counterclockwise about point b and first of all we are replacing these two forces with our force couple system meaning we only have one f in this question and 
first thing is that our fc minus our fd has to be equal to f in order to get the same force couple system in here so that's one thing to keep in mind in here and the other thing is whatever moment that f is making about each of these points in here we can go with b or o or we can call in the middle o whatever moment that f is making about any of these points these two forces has to make these two forces have to make the same moment so it's easier to go with the point o in here because we're going to cancel out the the moment of all the horizontal components from each of these forces but we can use any of other these points we can go with the b that we did in the first part of the question but as i mentioned it's easier to go with the point o because we can cancel out the moment of all the horizontal components so what we have for the moment of point o the f that we have in here if you want to find the moment about point o we have the moment of f cosine of theta so that's our force and the distance that we have is from the distance from o to a so here which is our b this is the moment that f is going to make and that has to be equal to the moment of the other two forces from FC and FD and again we know each of these are in the same direction of F so this angle here is theta and only we are interested in the cosine of theta and FC about point O this will be the X component of FC and the other one is in this direction both of them are positive one of them is FC cosine of theta and that's the force and what we have as the distance is the distance from O to C or O to D here which we know each of them is D so that's the moment of FC plus FD cosine of theta times D so we can cancel out the cosine of theta in here and we're gonna be FB is equal to we can to we can factor a D on the right side so basically FC plus FD and keep in mind that we have one equation in here and FC plus FD would be F times B over D our F is 425 our B in the question we know is 1.9 we have all the information for B and D and D is 0.2 and this is gonna give us 40 37.5 and that's our second equation we have fc minus fd is equal to 425 that's what we found in the first part and here we have fc plus fd is equal to 4037.5 if we just add these two equations we can get rid of the fd so 2fc will be equal to 425 plus 40 37.5 and we can find fc in here which will be 2231.25 newtons and our fd would be 1806.25 newtons and if you want to show the angles again as we can see our fc is going to make 120 degrees here and the other one would be what we have in here 60 degrees our f we're reporting this angle for fd which is 90 plus 30 so 120 and this will be the angle with horizontal for fd which is 90 minus 30 or 60 degrees in here so yeah that that would be the final answer for this question um uh, hope everything was clear let me know if there is anything feel free to drop your question in the comment section i'd be happy to answer those and hope you guys find it helpful please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one